Good evening, Food Review Club. Hope you're all doing really well this evening. Uh, we're not having a beer in the front room today, absolutely not. I brought us out to another brewery tap room, so welcome to Donkey Stone Brewing Co. So this is the brewery floor at Donkey Stone, and this beautiful man is Thomas, who is the head brewer at Donkey Stone. And in it's great to see you. See as always. It's great to see you. I'm a bit of a regular. Live nowhere near here, and still coming yeah, yeah. to say hello and that because it's kind of getting off. But you're going to show us the. Uh, the brewery floor, I believe. Yeah, yeah going to see the brewery floor. And come, and have, it. come and have a look. Right, so, like I say, Thomas is the uh, the head brewer. So, uh, mate, this is your domain. Yeah, yeah, man. Just take us through it. How do we get from start to finish? So, uh, to make it simple as out, just so you guys uh, understand as in the most simple terms, we start with a mash tun. In the mash tuns, when we add all our grain, our fermentables, uh, oats, unfermentables as well, depending on what beer you make. Uh, basically, in, on, in our brewery, we do this by hand with a paddle. Uh, a lot of places don't do that. They have, they do it all automated. We're, we're pretty much unautomated, um, but we still brew a hell of a lot of beer by brew, being unautomated. We also double brew because our fermenters are actually bigger than, than our, our brew kit. I'm looking, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Uh, now, when when it comes to boil, depending on the style of beer, that's when we add our hops. Uh, any any adjuncts, any additions that you need to do goes in at this stage. Um, so uh, once it's boiled, we give it an hour. Uh, if you have something like the West Coast IPA, which Dan loves, well, the West Day, West, West Coast, Coast is the best coast. <laughs> um, so when we do that, we we actually add additions all the way through the boil. So it um, it adds isomerization. Isomerization is something that happens when you uh, put the hop into the alpha acids boil. They turn into iso acids. I won't bore you too much with the, the size. <laughs> um, once we're done boiling, we send it through the heat exchange. The heat exchange adds um, water through these plates. So we have our hot work and we have our water and they swap temperatures. So now you can see why we have to double and yeah. triple brew it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because you're not going to fill one of them with what comes out of that. That's why we have three, three brewers in now. We're yeah. going to there. These are top of the range fermenters, uh, which we have uh, our friend Lee who looks after these, uh, the co uh, cylinder conicals, so all the yeast and the hops, when we dry hops go in the bottom of that, we dump, dump them when they're done, they carbonate in there, and there you go, that's a, in layman's terms, that's as quick as a beer is. <laughs> this, this is Ashton, who's, uh, who's one of the other brewers here at, uh, at Donkey Stone. Um, got some questions for you boys here. Uh, okay. yeah, sure. What's your favourite beer to brew? Um, so my favourite beer to brew wheelies is not my favourite beer to drink necessarily, but it's uh, it's um, probably Lost States Pills now. Because as a, as a brew, it's it's very technical. It requires sort of a lot of attention. You've got to be at the kit that you've just seen a lot, you know, pretty much all day. It's a lot of additions, a lot of temperature changes. Transfer's a little bit ch tricky, but um, it's challenging. And, you know, I like the challenge there. So brilliant, it's... brilliant. Go on, uh, for me, it's uh, a red ale that we do called Ruby Treasure. Just because it's taken me literally like five years to get right, you've tasted it. I love, I love a bit of Ruby Treasure. I think uh, as cask beer and, goes, it's one of my favourites. And I think it's just got everything in it. We, we I summarise the hops in it. We use bittering hop. We have a, a 30 minute hop. We have a below 80 hop, and then we dry off it. And I just think it's just a cool beer. And it's also my favourite beer to drink. So that's it. I mean, just talking to the boys, you know, the lads who are actually brewing the beer. You know, you can you, you know how passionate they are for for brewing. You know. The blood, sweat, tears and toil, everything goes into it, you know, and it tastes great. It really, really, really does. I can't wait to get a beer down me now. There's just a couple of bits uh, left to have a look at, get Tom back in, then we'll go and pull a pint. So, obviously, we've, we've just met Tom, the, the head brewer. Um, this is his brainchild. Um, it's a New York IPA, um, basically inspired by his trips to... He went to New York before Christmas, and 5.9%, you know, it's not weak, but it reminds me a little bit of Brewdog's Elvis juice. Bit of a bit of a grapefruit sort of bitterness and tropical fruit coming through on it. It's lovely. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the, what a beautiful tap room as well. So when you come to a tap room, you need feeding up. <laughs> so here we have some chicken tenders. Now the batter is made with uh, Donkey Stone Brewing's base, you know. Um, there's some sort of seasoning on that as well, which I, I can't remember what I ordered. 
Look, did they get Lebanese? I've got Lebanese seasoning. And look at that for a cheeseburger. Joe and Matt are the, obviously, well, you know, they're the professionals here. But this is to you, boys. Oh, blue. So, Ashton, we've had the conversation about, you know, what's your favourite beer to brew? Yeah. What is your dream brew? Um, so, my dream brew, and I, I, I sort of had a little bit of a crack at it a couple of months ago, but I'd love to do um, a lambic. Um, now, Interesting. That, that would take... Let me know if you want to see a lambic on Food Review Club as well. <laughs> Continue. Uh, it, well, it would, it would take a few years. Um, so, lambics, it's... I'd love to brew them because it's almost sort of doing the opposite of what you're told. <laughs> so it's, a, it's a naughty schoolboy. This how to brew a beer? Don't brew it that way. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you, you know, you, hops are purposefully aged in yeah, lambics. Um, then you barrel age them. It's wild fermentation. It, you know, it's it's yeah. um, it, like, it, it's sort of everything you're not supposed to do, um, but you have to do it, and yeah, yeah. and it also really like tests your palate. So yeah, yeah. I like it because one, it would be, it, it feels like a little bit almost clandestine, but also it would be a bit of a long game. Awesome. Uh, uh, keep me in a job for a couple of years. What as a great well. answer that is. What a great answer <laughs> that is. I'll tell you what as well. Do you know what I said about these boys being like mega, mega, mega passionate? There you go. <laughs> so, Tom, thanks again for having me, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. You know, oh, I love going down here, too. love drinking the beer, love yeah, eating the scran and that. I want to know what the future holds for Donkey Stone Brewing. Uh, so the future coming up is uh, Barrel Age projects. That's the, our big thing that's coming up. Shut the front door. <laughs> so February the 10th, we're launching a whole new Barrel Age project. We've, uh, we've You've just made my wife very happy. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, camera no. woman, Mrs. Um, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we, we, we've we've literally got three releases. We've got an autumn berries, um, a plum one, and a red grape. And they've been they've been in barrel for six months in wine barrels. Already? Yeah, yeah, they're ready to go. They're in here somewhere so already. They're naturally carbonated. <laughs> you, can have, you can have one. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> they are ready to go. We just, I can't just wait. wait on labels. So I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. You can't thing. wait either, can you? I'm sorry, yeah. I'm talking to the wife behind camera who's <laughs> actually recording for me. Um, that's incredible. Yeah. That's what the future holds for Donkey Stone Brewing. Absolutely. I want to be part of yeah. it. I'm a fully paid up member of Donkey Stone now. Every, every three months we're releasing barrel age. Yeah? Yeah. Every three months. Babe, pick you. <laughs> there we go, done and dusted. Awesome. Thanks again, mate. Good really appreciate it, brother. As always. Thank you very much indeed. Come and see hello. <clears throat> so behind the bar at Donkey Stone Brewery Tap Room with Savannah, who is the uh, who's the brewery manager. So Savannah, great to meet you. You too. Absolutely. How long have you worked for Donkey Stone for? Uh, I've been here over a year and a half now. A year and a half? Yeah. And do you uh, Jamie and you, do you enjoy it? I do. She enjoys it. There <laughs> we go, there we go. Uh, what's your favourite Donkey Stone beer? Uh, at the moment, I'd probably say Ruby Treasure. I love a bit of Ruby Treasure on Cascadu. Not had it on keg, but I'm going to have a pint of that before I leave. However, can I pour myself a pint of the new New England IPA? Of course you can. Wonderful. Let's have a go. Yeah. So, you're, the, you're, t you're training me. I am training you. I'm going to total muck it. Okay. Now to, now to pour a bit. So, <laughs> do we need to pour any first and then put the glass under, or? Uh, so, pull it down, put your glass underneath yeah. at an angle, yeah, and yeah. pull it down now. Go. Here we go. Should be fine. It's just doing bits on its own, this. It is. As soon as it starts reaching just where like the ears are, yeah. put your glass straight. Like that? Yeah. Oh, 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 hello, hello, yeah. hello, 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 hello. And then you can stop. <laughs> have I got the job? I think you might have. I'm starting on Monday. You can take my job. <laughs> she doesn't love it that much then, does she? Oh, Listen, Donkey Stone in Greenfield, Greater Manchester. Come and say hello. Let's keep drinking beer. See you on the next one. See us, Big Daddy B. Pugs and Matt on a mission to find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, trying different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the bar?